Alrighty, so here's the deal. I'm going to show you some slides of sorts, and um, you're going to be shown one line, and then you're going to be shown three lines, and your job is to um, decide which of the three lines on your right is closest in length to the um, the control line. So, here, for an example, here is the first, let me show the, this is the first um, slide. And your job is to indicate which number is closest in size to that line. So Emily, we'll start with you. Three. Good. Ready? Next one. Two. Two. Three. Two. <laughs> this was that slide. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for participating in this experiment. Um, oh, here is the last slide, by the way. Um, Alrighty then, thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate you taking time out of each of your day to come in at random. I'm sorry to get you know, giving a warning or anything. Do you do Spanish now? Alright, well, thank you. This was Ash's line perception. Right. And we are on. Welcome, everybody, to. Ash's line perception experiment. I'm going to be showing you a couple of slides, um, and um, your job is to, um, there's going to be one line on your left, and your job is to pick the one closest in length to the one on the left. Like, there's going to be three on the right and one on the left. you got to pick the one that's closest to the one on the left. And there are numbered choices, one, two, and three. So. This is the first slide. This, all right. Um, we'll start with Emily, and then we'll just go across. Okay. Uh, three. Three is closest. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. <coughs> This is the second slide. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one. 
decision of three on this one. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming in. That pretty much concludes the experiment. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off now. All right.